What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another tutorial, man. Today I will be teaching you guys how to make Victor style cartoon heads inside of Procreate on your iPad or your whatever device you're using. We're using Procreate. The app is called Procreate. It's right. Look this little thing right here. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time I drop some heat. And before we jump into this video, man, I want y'all to go ahead and drop in the comment section, free 21 Savage. Now, without further ado, let's jump right to the video. Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to open it up. And you already want to have a picture you finna use saved in your camera roll. So, now we're going to click this little tool. We're going to go to add, insert a photo. And as you can see, I got that picture saved. So what you wanna do, you wanna go ahead and stretch that out. To fit the to fit your canvas. After you got it how you like it, you wanna go ahead and place it. You wanna come over here, drop the opacity down. And I'm using an Apple Pencil, by the way. You know what I'm saying? This this really come in handy when you're drawing on your iPad. You know what I'm saying? The pressure sensitivity is so dope on this thing. So look, now we're going to create us a new layer. Put it right above the image. And you want to come over here to your brushes. And you want to select the inking brush. Then we're gonna get the technical pen. You're gonna double click it, and you're gonna you're gonna uh, bring your streamline all the way up to max, so it'll help you correct your lines, so you can make some clean lines. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna come over here to the size. Make sure your opacity on your brush is all the way up. We're gonna come to the size, and now we're gonna start working on some smooth lines. And the more you do it, the better you'll get at making some clean lines. If you want to fill in areas like this that's closed off, all you got to do is drag the color and drop it inside. So the main focus when you're making cartoon heads and stuff like that, you want to make sure you got some clean line work. So you got to have a steady hand. You gotta take your time. Every area that's closed off, I just fill in. Save some time. back and see see how we're looking so far looking pretty good we're gonna make our lines a little bigger always switch the size of you know what i'm saying when you're doing different things so you can have a, a very nice looking cartoon head So 
ears. So Keep it all, keep it all in line. We're gonna bring the opacity up on the picture song so we can see where it's at. And then we're gonna click this right here. We're gonna select this in this corner, in the top left corner. Gonna make sure you got that selected. And now we're gonna draw kind of like a imaginary sideburn so we can tell our so our lines, what we trying to, the lines we trying to stay inside. Okay, wait, I need to draw that over. I need to try it one more time. So we're gonna slit it again. I'm gonna make that side burn come right here. Then we're gonna make it go up. Then we're gonna make it come over. Then we're gonna make it come back here. Now that we got that, we're gonna go back to our brush. We're gonna go to your brush, and then we're gonna add the little hairs, the little hair effect, let's see. So we'll make it look like it's, it's really going into a fade, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna make it full at the top, then we're gonna make it slowly branch down is going to kind of fade away. Okay, now we're going to click this. Let me see. 
see how we got that little, see how we got a little hair fade, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now, what we finna do, we're gonna go back to our hair brush right here, and we're gonna make that brush smaller, bring the opacity all the way up, and we're gonna come right here and add some details inside the hair. So they had that little real texture type feel. Make our brush a little smaller. So we can get right here. And also we can go back to the little this brush right here. Make that smaller. Uh -oh, make it a little bigger. Bring the picture back up so we can see. Kind of airbrush
no clue though. Strong line sort of kind of help us out. Now that we finish with the line work, now we finna go in and add color. So what you wanna do, you wanna make a copy of your line work, duplicate it. And one thing you can do, you can bring your picture opacity back up and you can sample the colors off the original picture, but I like to create my own. So we just gonna mute this. We're gonna go to our second layer where we made our, a copy of our line work. Find a nice base color for the skin tone. I think that's a pretty good color right there. I'm gonna drag and drop it. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna fill in all the areas that that drag and drop miss. So let's go to our studio pin. Bring our streaming all the way down so we can have control. No control, but it moves faster. And you just want to go through. You just want to color all the areas that your drop to miss. Everything except your eyes and your mouth. We just coloring this, coloring his skin. Okay, we can drop two of that. your color layer I'm thinking we on the computer my bad you want to click your color layer and you want to hit select and what what that's gonna do is gonna make it where you cannot color outside that cartoon outside the skin color we just made so we're gonna create us a new layer in between and we are gonna go to our color right here and we're gonna find a a darker shadow. Let's see what going to be a good dark shadow. Okay, that's that's a good dark shadow. Now we're gonna go back to our technical pen. We're gonna make our line a little smaller. But we're gonna go through and we're gonna add our detail with the shadows. time you do it you, you kind of close it off yourself so you can fill it in you know what I'm saying so as you notice I'm drawing an imaginary line like right here that I can't see just so I can close it off when it's time to fill in now I can fill in bam We 
just gonna go with that whole technique through the whole picture. The imaginary line technique. Meaning you can't see it, but it's there. Or should I say invisible? Now we're gonna do some under the dreads. So all we, we can do is just come up here and make our brush bigger. Okay, now that we done with the dark shadows on the skin, now we finna sample our skin tone by holding on to the color. And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna find a color in between. A nice in between color. And that's it. We're gonna try it out. You're gonna create a new layer and you're gonna put it under your dark shadows gonna keep stacking from dark to light and it's gonna go lighter every time you make a new stack so now see that color just gonna sit behind the color that's right above it let's see we can make this color a little
every layer you add, it gotta be lighter and it gotta go underneath the one above it, the one you just did. Now it's time to create. I'm learning this with y'all. I'm trying to get the hang of it myself, so we we all learning together. Okay, I like that. Okay, now we're gonna go to our mid tone. Wait, let's go to our base color. That need to be a little darker.
like later. that layer so we can only focus inside the areas we color a layer right above the artwork we're gonna do the details in the eyes
parts right here. Circles for the glare. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Now, I'm gonna add a little detail on the hair. Oh, let's see. Add a little white dot. Add the details on the hair. There you have it, you guys. How to make a cartoon head using your iPad. Making it look like Victor Art, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment. You already know the rest. Mohit coming soon. And I'm out this thing.